We've had a few people um, come in asking if lynx lived in the area because uh, that's what he looks like. They have distinctive tufts on their ears, like lynx. Um, you know, they're a feline, so they're related to other uh, large. I mean, other felines such mm -hmm. as lynx, um, mm -hmm. mountain lions, cougars, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And um, they're they're not really in this area anymore. But if you go west, you can see them, and uh, they're pretty cool. The coyotes are starting to fill the niche of the bobcat in this area because um, a small predator like this bobcat, because it no longer exists, there's almost like a, a vacuum for something mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. And for a while, house cats were kind of filling that role, but for larger animals like deer mm -hmm. and that sort of thing, um, coyotes may eventually start um, start uh, preying on them. Coyotes have a, a very interesting way of hunting. What they'll do is, what if they if they pack up together, one will chase an animal until the coyote gets tired, and mm -hmm. then another coyote will follow in behind it and chase it. Relay. So it's kind of like a relay, because a lot of the animals are chasing like hares, um, and then if you know if they get brazen, like larger animals like deer, they have more endurance than something mm -hmm. like a coyote. So they'll mm -hmm. actually relay to catch it. Smart. Until the animal's worn out. Very smart. Uh, and What is this? These are two of our Virginia's common water um, mammals. Mm -hmm. This is a muskrat right here. And you can see these down the Potomac all the time. Uh, and then our beaver here. Yeah, yeah. beaver around yeah. here, huh? Just the whole place. They can be, uh, many people know, you know, they, they build dams and stuff, and they can be problematic. Uh, there's been some issues with them in the past because they'll flood uh, flood creeks and stuff like that, so they will interfere with uh, human development. So it's one of those places where it's like kind of the vector between um, nature and man. And, you know, Arlington's a great place to see that because of how built up it is. But you know, we butt right up against, you know, the Chesapeake Bay and then the west, the Shenandoah. So, you know, it's, it is kind of a meeting place and one of, our, one of our conflict animals, in addition to the coyote, would be, you know, beaver.